Hey, so, they could be me installing her pen and my, also my cover fiber hood. I also could be reclearing it. For now, all we're doing is gonna test the filament, cutting and journey my hood pen. As you can see, I did one side already. That side still needs to be work on. So, first step is to take off your hood before you unboard anything. We are, what's it called? Of course, it's called the thing, the spare water. We'll be in oil in her. This thing. First, you have to uh, take off the. This thing. So, all you do is just pull down. That's pretty much it. Uh, there'll be one tap like this over here. Or you or in your hood. Just pull out, and that's pretty much it. Then, once you pull out, there'll be two bolts. Uh, it should be 10 mil for um, off our side. So you take that off, take off the hood, pretty much put your new one, and then insert the um, bolt, and then just line up. Once you have lined up, so once you line up, make sure anything line up. Come on, I have to pay right now so I can put it down. Make sure anything line up. Once anything line up, go ahead and tighten the bolt completely. Once the bolt is lining up, uh, tying it and everything line up, next you're gonna be installing your hood pen. So the next step will be installing your hood pen. So before you install it, make sure which uh which spot you want to use. In my case, I use this spot, which is the oil placement for this thing. It's like the uh, the thing to stop the hood from slamming. You could use this hole too. I didn't because this hole is literally right at the edge. Let me zoom out. It's literally right at the edge. So I prefer to have a little bit in, in the inside. So that's why a lot of people use this hole. Some people they do use this hole too in the front. And this one, I mean the the one for this one, it's a bit over here. So it's a slight on um, it's like corner edge. So the most popular, uh, the most common one would be this area, which would be this hole. Take this off. All you have to do is so pretend like this, this is uh, this thing one. Like. All you do just unscrew it, and it should come off. You can see, look like this. You literally just unscrew it, and it just come right off. Once it come off, go ahead and install this thing. Do not install, install the rubber yet. Save this for last. So people, this thing will be replacing this thing pretty much but for now all you, all you can do is cut in the hole so literally you put uh install this thing make sure it's tight not loose i can't lose sitting on this side uh this thing the nut it should be 16 mil i believe i'm not sure but i think it's 16 mil if you if you want to tighten it once you tighten it pretty much put two paste for me i just use uh uh Polish and compound, uh, put it on here. You close it. Once you close it, and then you have two paste or compound whatever you use. Drill on it, drill a hole. I'm not gonna show you guys because I did it already, and there's a lot of videos that show you guys how to do that stuff. Pretty much once you drill the hole, you can be test fitting it. Make sure you go all the way in, you can see right here. Once that is stick out, then you can start uh, start uh, making a template. But the way I do it, once you drill the hole and everything, I uh, put tape on it. I can see. So next, you could be install this thing. Well, right top you can see my can lock right now. Cause the hole is a bit too low. I mean the the latches is a bit too low. So I need to make it a bit higher. Again, this is just uh, drilling the hole, that's pretty much it. You're not going to be installing this yet, so the height doesn't make a difference. Okay, now that the latch is sticking all the way out, I'm going to go ahead and lock it. You can see I can lock it now. So to, now you can decide how you let your angle in. So let me zoom out. Now this is where you can move it, however you want. So you want it like this, like this. For me, I can put it like this. Let's see, so on this side, you can see 
I floor this angle, it floor a little bit with the headlight. So I can set it on this side. This side is very quick, yeah, I think. It's locked. I got my, you know, place that I want to be at. I could be tracing it. So I could do it like that. Just try it. So that's how it look like. The most important part is gonna be the top and bottom. So you be using this thing. So once you use uh this thing, line up the top and bottom. And then once you line up, now you're able to do the side now. You see this side is not perfectly flat. I mean straight. You got this the dip for here. So that's why you do this one first. And then after you do that one, you use this piece and then do the top and bottom and line up. This is the way that how I do it. Uh, you can do it however you want, but this is the way I do it. So I can be doing it off camera because I can't hold the phone while, while you're doing it. So pretty much all I can do is just make the line or the edges. That's all I can do. So line up the top and the bottom and just draw the line for the uh, the side. Okay, so this is how it look like. Pretty much I did the side. So when I cut it, you can see right here. Let's like cut it right on here. So I, I do not cut it right on the line. You will have to cut it on the line in the end, but I prefer to cut right before the line. And then use it sending this, this thing. So, and then I like to use this, this with a Dremel and send down to the line. And then slowly, uh, Slowly make my work uh, keep shaving it until it fit. So that's how I do it. Some people they like to cut one right other line. I don't. I like to use uh, the same paper to do the final uh, touches on the edge. But uh, I'm not sure about that. Also, you're gonna be needing a vacuum. You don't really need a vacuum, but it really does help with uh, the dust and debris. For uh, but yeah, so. Two people, it's definitely recommended. You do it by yourself, you can't really use the vacuum. Uh, so yeah, anyway, we're gonna cut it out and we we'll see how it goes from there. Are you sure? Yeah. It's like it's just done.
Okay, so one thing that I forgot to show in the video is this rubber thing. All I did is cut it, that's pretty much all I did. So I put it on here and then just cut it. Same thing at this side. Just chop it. But then once you are. Once you rub it, you can see it's tight. It's not, it's not loose or shaky. And that's pretty much it. Okay, let me adjust it so it's good to... As you can see, uh, a different style. So, what do you go about carbon fiber hood? Get you uh, to when you're gonna lock it, you to push that to one middle. Push it down. Snatch. Snatch. And that's it. Well, that's how it looks like, you see. It doesn't wiggle. Pretty tight and fun. The gap's okay. My headlight is not that great. You can see it's supposed to be flush, but it's not. But here's the gap. Not too bad. What did I notice? The, the cut fiber here, it does hit this end. I'm not sure why. So I'm gonna look at it again. Look at this side. Again, okay, it can hit in this part, I'm not sure why. But yeah, pretty good. So let me just pop it open and I'll show you guys. So before you are uh, unhook, just press this. Unlock that. Unlock that. And watch me pop the hood. If that's normal, but the hood just wants to fly out because the hood is pretty light. And that's it. So the one thing about carbon fiber hood, it doesn't have a spot to put your stand. So I just use the spot that I cut out for the hole. That's it. Other than that, you have to make your own custom uh, hole if you want to do some this thing. For me, I just gonna put it right here. So that's fine. Another thing is, uh, you won't be able to use your water reservoir. I mean, your bridge your nozzle. You see, it does have a hole right here, but the sides are a bit different. So that's how it looks like. And then these are the OEM. You can see the OEM has this two big space. So if you if you want to use the nozzle. You will have to trim it because, yeah, you can see it, it don't fit. So you have to trim this piece if you to use the your the windshield nozzle to put that back in. All right, so this uh, look like outside. We tried. We tried all there is to try I'm not I'm not